The next thing we're going to do here is create these drop holes. Now I've drawn on the drop holes just by drawing circles where I want holes for the ball to drop through my board. Now to do this we're going to use the pillar drill here and we're also going to use a jig. A jig is something that helps us with a repetitive task. Now this jig is quite simple. A uh, piece of MDF sits in there and stops it turning and we use a G clamp underneath here to stop it moving about. Once we've done that we can use the pillar drill to drill the holes exactly where we want them. So I've lined this up, I'm just bringing this down, making sure that it's in the right position for me to drill the hole. Then I'm going to put on some goggles and drill the hole. And there you can see that the hole's gone all the way through and that's created a drop hole from our maze. Just by moving about our jig, moving the table on the drill, we can position it to all the positions and also by turning a piece of MDF in our jig to make sure that we get all the holes drilled. It's probably easier to drill these holes before you start sticking the maze on, but you can see that I've stuck this strip on and I've still been careful not to knock it off. So that's how to use the pillar drill to drill our drop holes.